Hello internet people and welcome to another episode of So Vlogtober and a very special edition of Hashtag Friday Sews. So this week the Friday Sews crew decided to get together and film ourselves every day this week to show you a little bit of the behind the scenes of our sewing life day to day. Now this is perfect because I am currently doing Vlogtober where I am sewing an hour a day and bringing you along for the journey. So they actually correlate very well. So that is going to be today's video. Today I'm going to show you my sewing from Monday, October 16th through Friday, October 20th. Um, and I'm sewing an hour a day. So I'm going to show you the whole week in this video. So I'm currently working on the Barra Studio Romy Top and I'm making it out of this festive fall pumpkin fabric from Raspberry Creek Fabrics. And last I left off with my Vlogtober videos, I was working on fitting the pattern. So I'd taken some measurements and I was following the instructions in this book, fitting and pattern alteration, and trying to figure out what adjustments I needed to make to the pattern. So, um, it turns out taking measurements of yourself is not very effective and not very accurate. So I've spent a few days since then working on the fitting and I will tell you all about that in a minute. But yesterday I actually cut out the fabric. I managed to get it all cut out and ready to start sewing finally. So let's actually go back in time, cut the fabric out, and then I'll tell you all about the fitting process. to start sewing but first let me tell you about the fitting process over the last few days so i left off in my last video i had taken some measurements of myself and i explained that i was going to use this book fitting and pattern fitting and pattern alteration to compare the body measurements to the pattern measurements as instructed by the book figure out what adjustments i needed and then use the instructions in the book to carry out those adjustments to the pattern I took a bunch of measurements myself. It just doesn't work. So I had my husband help me. And in the book, there is um, about a million measurements to take. And so I actually made a copy of the measurements um, of the pages that were relevant to this project. So the bodice and the arms measurements. And we took all of the measurements. It took a while, but I think it's going to be worth it because these are going to be the measurements I can use for future projects. So then you compare your body measurement, oh, sorry. Then you measure the pattern and then you can do a bunch of comparisons to figure out what adjustments you need. And the book tells you like, oh, if this measurement is this and this measurement is this, then you might need this adjustment. And then you go to another part of the book and it tells you three different ways to make the adjustment to the pattern as well as alterations you can do to um, a ready to wear, Clo ready to wear clothing or trial or like your trial your muslin garment this pattern isn't really the best choice um as a first pattern to start trying to do this process with number one it's a knit and so it's kind of different than fitting wovens like there's different amounts of ease that you use there's negative ease um so we're kind of just like fudging that a little bit and then secondly, a lot of the measurements are based on like your natural waist measurement. And this pattern doesn't have a natural waist measurement. It's not marked on the pattern. So I kind of had to infer where the waist was going to be based on my body measurements and then kind of use those. And so we're taking a pretty big gamble here, but we're going to see if it works. So what I came up with was after comparing, ooh, shaking the table. So what I came up with was after comparing the body measurements um, and the pattern measurements, which is kind of confusing, like it takes a long time to get through the book and like really figure out how to do it, but I did it. Um, I figured out I probably needed a shoulder width adjustment and a wide upper back slash chest adjustment. So 
I did those to the pattern. I didn't actually trace off the pattern, which I always do. I did it on my only copy, which it's wild guys. That's wild for me. Um, so I did those adjustments and now we're gonna cross our fingers that it actually works. I have no idea. I'm a little worried about the wide upper back slash chest adjustment. It added kind of a lot here. Um, and my chest measurement was actually okay, but the upper back measurement was short. So, but the, but the adjustment ended up adding a little bit to both sides. So hopefully it's not gonna be like too big here, but again, it's a knit. Um, so it's gonna be more forgiving. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. So without further ado, today's agenda is to start actually sewing this project. I'm gonna work on it for an hour and I'm gonna bring you along, so let's get started. You guys, my internet people, are witnessing firsthand the absolute nitty gritty of sewing sort of in real time. I just spent 15 minutes of my hour of sewing setting up my machines. I had to rethread the serger. I had to fill a new bobbin for the other machine, put in a ballpoint needle, get everything ready, do, you know, a test scrap. And now, after what seems like basically forever and half the month of October, we are ready to sew our first seam and that is going to be the shoulder seams. And I'm so ready, let's do this. have shoulder seams. Um, so this is an unexpected turn of events. My twin needle broke. Uh, that's never happened before. Um, I heard a little piece fly across the room and I can't find it. So I'm hoping it's not a sharp part. I don't think it's that sharp because the tips of the needles are still here. But yeah, I don't know why that happened. I was working on the hem of this top. Oh, my timer just went off. That's why it cut off. So yeah, uh, I think we're going to call it for today. That is probably a good sign to stop. So I'll see you here tomorrow for the continuation of this saga. Hello, internet people, and welcome back to Sew October and the special episode of Friday Sews. So last I left off, uh, we were learning that sewing is an extreme sport. Um, turns out, you know, sharp objects can fly at you at any time. Um, basically, I was, I broke my twin needle trying to sew the hem of the Barra Studio Romy top in the cute pumpkin fabric. That's supposed to be a cute October top to wear. Um, I broke my twin needle on the hem. The hem is actually the second step, so you kind of do it earlier, which I think I like. Because um, the hem is the worst part, I think. And you always leave it to the end, and then you don't want to do it because you've already worked on the whole thing. But if you get it done early, then it's done and you don't have to worry about it. And then when you finish the top, it's like amazing. So anyways, um, I think a case could be made for wearing safety goggles or glasses while sewing, um, I might wear them. Like you guys, I don't want a needle in my eye. Although every time a needle breaks, it usually stays in the thread. Like, do I want to take that chance? I had refractive surgery a couple years ago, like five years ago. Um, not LASIK, but like PRK, which is like LASIK, but different. The doctor told me that I'm at risk of going blind if I get any eye injuries, so I should always wear eye protection. So, I mean, we're playing fast and loose with... We're playing fast and loose with this whole sewing without eye protection thing. But anyways, all right, so let's get back to it. Uh, yesterday, I didn't really sew, but I went through and I put... I put a new twin needle in the machine, cleaned it up, figured it out, tested it, etc. Um, I actually just got home from get Take a shot every time the light goes off. No, don't. Don't do that. Um, I just got home from getting my flu and COVID shots. So, all right, we're just going to leave it off then. So, uh, it's kind of a countdown until my arm gets kind of really sore. Um, I can already sort of feel it. So, we better get going on this hour of sewing before 
um, I can't anymore. So let's do this. Okay, so I managed to complete the hem without going blind. Um, and I did one of the side seams and unfortunately, this is not acceptable. I have to have the double, the twin needle lines match. Can you see they don't? So I think actually the reason why is the fabric's pulling. So I'm gonna throw a walking foot on here, pull out that little section and then see if I can get it to match. I think this is close enough. Now for the other side seam. So I've got, let me tell you about my setup. I've got the walking foot on and I've got it on a stretch stitch and we're sewing a 2.5 centimeter hem, which is like around an inch. It's been an hour and a half. Uh, I went over my time because I didn't actually set an alarm and I was playing the 90s pop playlist on Spotify. And I was just vibing along, you know, you got some Backstreet Boys, Britney, Christina, like I was just back in middle school vibing and sewing. And so anyways, uh, yeah, I've, I'm feeling very 90s lately because I've been watching the Beckham documentary on Netflix and then this whole thing with Brittany um, and her memoir. I don't know if I'm gonna read it because it sounds really sad. I'm sure I'll just hear about it. But anyways, um, so let me show you the progress so far. So this is what we're working with. I scrunched it up because eventually there will be ties here down the side. And that's kind of how it's supposed to be. Uh, this is looking a little questionable here. That's a lot of fabric. Um, that's probably because of that adjustment I did, I talked about. Um, but yeah, I think it's cute. Uh, I was kind of going for like a cute festive look. I, is it giving like tacky or like too much? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe once it's like styled up with some like jeans or something, it'll not look so, I don't know, childish. I don't know. I still like the print, but I don't know if it ended up being too much. So, well, anyways, we'll see. So that's it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. I'll see you tomorrow for the final day of the special Friday Sews episode, but not the final day of Vlogtober. So I'm going to leave you off with um, a shot of the Dahlia that I grew. Actually, here, let me just show you while I'm here. So I've never grown flowers before, and we have these boxes outside the kitchen door. Um, some raised beds. And so I made like a little cut flower garden this summer. And this is the dahlia that I grew. And I think it might be my best specimen this summer. Like look how perfect and symmetrical it is. I don't know. I don't know what the criteria is for perfect dahlias, but for me and my first year of growing, uh, I think it looks pretty good. Um, and behind it is my bouquet uh, Lego set that my sister gave me for my birthday last year. So Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello internet people, happy Friday, and welcome to the final installment of Hashtag Friday Sews Day Today and another episode of Sew Vlogtober. So yesterday we were working on the Barra Studio Romy top in this pumpkin fabric that I'm not quite so sure about anymore. Um, and I left off working on the channels on the side seams um, where the ties are gonna go. And man, yesterday was like one of the best sewing days that I've had in so long. You know, I had my 90s playlist on, I was just vibing and sewing and sewing and sewing. And it's just so nice to actually have like a chunk of time where you're continuously actually at the machine. It can be such a drag to just like work on the patterns and the alterations, like that part is the worst. Um, so it's just really nice to actually sit down on the machine finally and get going with everything else. So we're gonna try to replicate that today. I think I'm gonna put the same playlist on again and we're just gonna sew and see how far the hour gets us. So I'm gonna set my timer for an hour. It's 12.40. So we're gonna set it for one hour till about 1.40. And yeah, let's get to sewing. It's been nine minutes. I already have to pull out this guy, so.
fun. Okay, channels are completed. I have a little bit of trouble keeping the lines totally straight, um, but I don't think it's gonna matter because this whole part is gonna be scrunched up from the ties anyways. So we'll just keep that our little secret. I just went to the instructions to see what's next and I realized that I sewed the channel seam too far away from the side seam. So it's supposed to be uh, two center, two centimeters here. Um, and then this is 2.5 centimeters. Um, but I did 2.5 centimeters, which explains why the channel didn't even get formed um, here in this spot. So I'm going to have to redo that. Um, this is probably due to the fact that the instructions are written in centimeters and I, can't, I just, uh, they're very hard for me. It's inexcusable. It doesn't make any sense. Um, the rest of the world does centimeters and yeah, I just never got a good grasp of that in school. So anyways, now's my time. It's never too late to learn. Um, and yeah, I guess I'm going to have to pull out some more of these, uh, stretch stitches, which actually take a very long time compared to a regular straight stitch. Okay, so it's been an hour. My timer just went off. So not a lot accomplished. I guess it'd just be like that sometimes. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. I'll probably work on pulling out some of these stitches through the weekend and hopefully get some sewing done. But we are painting the master bedroom. So I think I have to work on that this weekend. So anyways, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you have a very good weekend. Uh, I hope you have some fun sewing plans and I will see you next time. Hopefully I'll see you next week with another Vlogtober video. If not, well, I hope so. Um, but I also have a fabric haul coming up, so stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much. Bye.